That means silage. It's dead sunny, I've got my shades on, and we've got the luxury of the TM with working aircon, working CB. Oh, it's great. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Saturday today, and as you can see, there's TM there, TM there, windrower there, and if I move around here, Teddy there. You know what that means? That means only one thing. Oh, and there's cut grass everywhere. That means silage. And you can probably hear mowers going behind me. I'm just looking at this here. It looks like a brand new rake. I think it is brand new, actually. Uh, class liner, 2800. Absolute unit. And that's a 155 TM. This is what I was tending with and leading with last year, the 150. Um, with a tether as well. The Maxim's currently got a tether on as well. Um, so it's, it's all go here. There's, a, there's the Puma mowing in this field over here with the brand new mowers on. Then there's a John Deere mowing in here who's got a one-year-old front class mower and a crone mower on the back, I think. So I'll wander through and see what the crack is. There's a hell of a crop on these fields. Look at this. Whew. That's one uh, tall piece of grass. Christ, look at all of that. So yeah, it's quite wet stuff. Um, there's the max, I'm just up there, you probably can't see her. Um, if I just come and get a bit. Yeah, see, it's all, all quite wet, but as it gets tedded and uh, left for a couple of days to dry, it should all uh, dry out quite nicely. There's a lot of stuff on mine. Hell of a lot of stuff. John Deere's all the way down that far end of the field. I'll wait for them to come round and I'll get some nice footage. There's one coming up there and another one coming from over there. Can hear them both. Tedder on the back of the Maxim. Um, there's a TM 150 that you saw, well, for you, it'd be a couple minutes ago. Tedding in there, there's John Deere mowing over there somewhere, and the Puma's mowing over there somewhere too. Um, it's boiling today, I think it's above 20 degrees. Um, sunny as well, it's starting to cloud over now, but it is still absolutely boiling. I've got the aircon full blast, not really making a difference. Um, yeah, we've got the old lass on the tether. Then tomorrow she'll be on the clamp rolling it over there, and I'll be on the TM tedding. Then I think when I'm finished tedding, I'm going on a trailer, I think. Um, I think that's the plan anyways. But yeah, day one, just getting everything tedded out and stuff. Um, it's going well so far. No fatalities. Um, I've got one more headland to do and then I'll be in the uh, middle of this field go on it for about an hour or so I'd say um, but yeah it's going well so far we're into the next field here the second Ted is just going in that field there. I'm in here, finished the one over there. This is just a smaller field. Get it done, go in that one or that one, I'm not sure. Just get them all done, really. It's going well, it's absolutely boiling, I must say. Oh, I don't know, I'm coping. Boiling, I can't wait to get in that tractor tomorrow with proper air pump. Be a more pleasant experience, I should think. It's dead sunny, I've got my shades on. I just thought I'd show you how you fold the uh, tether up and stuff. Um, just about finished this field here. Just riding this last bit down to the gateway there. And then we can uh, 
Yeah, fold it up. Oh, absolutely boiling, honestly. Right, so what you first want to do is lift it up fully. Then you want to put your hand throttle down, knock your PTO off, wait for them to stop spinning. Slow process. Nearly there. If you don't wait for them to stop spinning, this, you'll uh, snap your PTO, so you want to wait for them to stop. Um, right, pull back. Then they just fold up like this. There's no strings to pull on these or anything. Uh, I think this is a year old. He's got two of them. I think he used to have a chrome one that I used, and yeah, you used to pull the string on that. Right, and into this uh, field. One thing you've always got to watch with the tether, I know it's not the widest thing, but the amount of swing, if you see those warning signs at the back there, they swing out a hell of a lot more than you think. It'd be the same with the plough, obviously a plough will swing out a hell of a lot more, but uh, yeah, you want to watch those warning signs. I'll give you an example, let me just get through the gateway, which is uh, tight. See that there, there. Doable, but it's tight. See now, if I if I just thought that was through now, and if I swung fully to the right, you can just see how that uh, warning sign would swing round and catch the uh, gate post there. So yeah, you want to watch them really, but that's about all you need to watch. And then I don't know why I've come in here. Actually, it's the field next door. But oh well. Um, to unfold it, it's just the same as folding it up, but you'd uh, do the opposite, obviously. And then you rev it to about 500 PTO speed. Uh, 480 something like that if it's a bigger crop put a bit more on but it's, it's a good crop of stuff this mine but it's fairly dry so don't need it too much still going strong there's the TM up there you can just see behind that tree you can't quite see the screen there she is what are these just in uh, the field after the one I just filmed in got that one done uh, so we're in here now it's starting cloud over again so not getting any sunglasses on anymore but uh, we're still cracking on still staying dry so and it's still above 20 degrees so I'm uh, still dying of uh, heat attack and uh, yeah oh well it's going well um, it's doing that field then he'll probably do that field so he'll finish first then I'll head over there then we'll be uh, by the road uh, those fields, the other side of the farm, I think. Well, there's not a cloud in the sky. I just love looking at the mountains over there. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely uh, a lovely evening. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow as well when they start picking up. It'll be a couple days picking up, I would have thought. There's 350 acres overall. Um, so it's a fairly big job. Uh, someone's just arrived to take over raking. Um, so there's someone else here now, but I'm not sure what the other person's doing. I couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, I've got just a tiny bit of this field, as you can see. Then uh, that field, I'm gonna try and do the field afterwards as well. Um, then there's three, six, seven or eight more fields to do tomorrow, I think. Um, and then I'll be uh, ready for a trailer, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Well, we've made it. It's day three, I think, of this video. And we're in the TM150. I finished last night about 11 o'clock with the Maxim, which is now on the pit. And we've got the luxury of the TM with working aircon, working CB. Oh, it's great. Such a, such a luxury. Oh, it's so much comfier in here as well. Um, we've got about three or four more fields and there's something to do over the road, which I can't do because I can't drive on the road yet. But only a few more months and then I can drive on the road. But not yet. So we're getting these done then. Someone else is doing them, I think. Then I'm on a trailer tomorrow. Yes. Let's go. I'm excited for that. Um, but let's get this Teddy done first. Uh, just thought I'd show you this beauty of a tractor. <laughs> 